let's take a brief look at the SolidWorks online product trial. The trial can be accessed through mysolidworks.com and the Try SolidWorks tab. You'll then be prompted with a window to log in to your MySolidWorks account. And after logging in, you'll have the ability to test drive SolidWorks anywhere at any time on the cloud. Simply select the language you'd like to use, as well as the server that you would like to connect to, followed by the launch button. The SolidWorks online trial will then initiate and you'll be presented with a small window with some important details about the online trial. If you're launching the online trial for the first time, then you'll be prompted to accept the end user license agreement. Once all the formalities are out of the way, you'll have full access to the powerful capabilities and functionality of SOLIDWORKS 2017. But before we look at SOLIDWORKS, let's take a brief look at the online interface. In the lower left hand corner, you'll see a small gear icon. This allows you to launch SOLIDWORKS sessions, gain access to a variety of other SOLIDWORKS applications such as eDrawings and SOLIDWORKS Visualize. You can also share your session with a friend or colleague by copying and pasting a link perhaps in an email and sending it to them. This will allow them to join in with your SOLIDWORKS online trial experience. There are other areas to note as well. You can show and hide statistics about your session, change the resolution, disconnect and quit. You can also review your current network bandwidth, as well as the distance to the server, the window scaling of your interface, and the time elapsed and max session time remaining, which is two hours. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll be able to upload new files from your local machine, access Dropbox, Google Drive and Box accounts, as well as full screen your session. Now it's time to take a very brief look at SolidWorks. The first thing that you'll want to do is Tap the R key on your keyboard to bring up recent files. What you'll see is a variety of demonstration files which are already on the trial available for you to access, interrogate and use. You can launch one of these by selecting them from the recent documents window that appears. If you want to start creating content of your own, simply select the file and new button. This will launch the new SOLIDWORKS document window and you'll be able to create brand new part files, assembly files and some drawings to document all your design work. Once you've created some content, why not try saving it to a Dropbox or Google Drive account or a Box account that you've connected. I've already connected mine and can save files to it by saying File and Save As and from the left hand side of the Windows Explorer selecting the drive that I would like to save to. I can then access this content locally making sure that I don't lose anything when the SOLIDWORKS session ends.